It's a traditional kind of Māori dance and can be used as a war dance and often is, um, but can be used in other ways. Um, so there's a sense in which it's not threatening, but it says it's a bit like um, inspecting the guard when a VIP arrives. This, we've got soldiers here. Um, don't take us too much for granted. You're welcome, but just remember that if you did try to kill us, we could kill you. So um, so it functions as a war dance it's best known as. Uh, and the actual haka that the, um, the All Blacks traditionally use was written, composed by uh, a great Māori military leader of the Musket Wars, uh, who was a, a bit of a Machiavellian character, but also an extremely strong one, basically built a little Ngāti Tor empire. His tribe was Ngāti Tor in the sort of Cook Strait region, both north of the South Island and south of the North Island. His name was Te Rauparaha, and uh, it was he who composed the traditional haka, you know, kamate, kamate, kia ora, kia ora. It is life, it is death. Um, and uh, so you can understand how it's become something which empowers the All Blacks who, except when they went to South Africa in the... Uh, 1960s and 70s usually have quite a large Māori component.